So there's a lot of content creators and just people in general in the community that are a little bit worried about rank 2.0 and they think that it's more of a unranked feeling of a playlist compared to a competitive grind where you grind for ranks and it actually means something let me just say something first rank has never defined skill and the current way that ranked is placed is that you win games you earn more mmr you lose more games your mmr average will start to go down and it all depends on who you face for example if i'm five stacked right now in a plat lobby with all plats and then i face a five stack of diamonds i'm going to win more and lose less if i beat them and it's vice versa vice versa yeah so for rank 2.0 there's basically no mmr restrictions so if you're a champion you now can queue with four coppers is that bad i don't personally think so uh because people are complaining that it no longer feels a like competitive scene um Pox on Locks made an entire video talking about rank 2.0 and his concerns, and it makes sense. Same with Pangu. I've seen him say some stuff on Twitter as well, and just many other people. But a lot of people have to realize, one, that what we're seeing in the TS is just the TS. It is called the TS for a reason. Test server. It's not the final build. Um, and what I'm really referencing right now is there's somebody named Ice Cold R6. He's been playing a lot of the TS. He's actually champion right now in the TS, which is kind of hilarious because it's been out for three days. He's grinded all the way from copper to champion. And basically, he's gaining, I think, 60 MMR and losing about seven or nine. Now, I want to explain what hidden MMR is. And this is what I believe is happening with the TS. But first, I want to mention that I don't think all of this is going to come to the final build the way that it's set up right now. So everybody is gaining lots of RR or ranked points, RP, I should say, and they're losing very minimal. And I think that's just because they're trying to keep games active on the TS. I don't think that's going to be the final build. Now, let me get back to what I was saying about hidden MMR. If you play a game like Valorant, there is something called hidden MMR. So let's say that I'm on a silver account. Me being an immortal player, I'm immortal one on my main account. I'm probably going to perform way better in that ranking or not because silvers are crazy basically what's gonna happen if i if i if i'm overperforming how a silver should play which means i'm dropping 30 to 40 kills effortlessly i'm not dying as much i have maybe seven deaths and i won the game like 12 13 whatever five whatever that means i'm gonna get a rr boost and the game is basically gonna tell that i'm a smurf and i don't deserve to be in that ranking so they're gonna boost me up with more ranked points so that's what i feel like is implemented with the new rank 2.0 so if you're overperforming or you're playing uh you're winning a lot more consistently than somebody that normally is in silver and bronze and copper then you're probably going to get boosted rp and you're going to be losing less that is what i think is what's happening with the rank 2.0 playlist but here is my main concern about rank 2.0 at this current moment so let's go back to comparing it to valorant which is <clears throat> not right but if you look at the current system that they have with the new rank 2.0 it looks very similar to valorant but there's one glaring issue how are they determining who deserves to get more rp and who deserves to get that boost and what rank they should be in how because valorant works off of uh, like a scoreboard system that makes a lot of sense so basically there is kills first bloods spike diffuses spike planet assists off utility basically and a few other things that go into basically a cost rating it, it's not a cost rating but it, it's similar in a way siege doesn't have really have that we don't have anything that's going in depth that's actually telling you or telling the game that you deserve more rp and you deserve to lose R less rp and that's the glaring issue in my personal opinion i was talking with ice cold while i was streaming and personally i think what ubisoft should do right now before they roll out this rank 2.0 or what they should have done is they should have completely reworked the operator selection they should have reworked how you gain RP, uh, rp and how you should gain less rp i don't care that you can queue with any rank i think that's a very solid option to be honest because it really sucks if somebody wants to play with you know their little brother or or one of their IRL friends but it just doesn't make sense at the same time because people can basically uh 
boost, I guess, which I don't know any limitations in terms of RP with that. They haven't been very transparent with how this is going to work. But basically, what I think they should do is take a bunch of the operators, right? They, instead of, you know, when you pick attackers and defenders, you should be able to pick off of different roles, if that makes sense. So categorize them, for example, on attack, you have hard breaches, you have support for the hard breaches, like Cali, Thatcher, um, whatever. You have entries like Ash, um, Soft Destruction, like Buck and Sledge. Categorize these to make it more transparent. One, for just the casual audience and people getting into the game. And two, this will always, this will also go in to how much RP you're gaining because someone that is on Ash is probably more likely going to have more first bloods, more frags, just more gunfights overall. But how is this person getting all the information and getting into sites? We have the support roles that do this. We have the thermite. We have the hard breach, which is a needed, necessary role in a game like Rainbow Six Siege. So this person should be rewarded as well for doing good drone work, whether that's kills off Z pings, kills off of red pings, um, and just getting the duelist in sight, opening walls, planning, stuff like that. I think that's the glaring issue with rank 2.0 right now is how are they determining how people are getting RP and how is this fair? I think that is my personal opinion and how they should have really readjusted rank 2.0 to make it to its full potential. Because at the moment, I like the new season that's coming out. I honestly do think that they hyped it up properly and I think it's going to be a very solid season and me playing the TS, I've never had this much fun. It's just, this is something consumers have been waiting for for literal years is to rework the rank system so why not do it justice also i would like ubisoft just to be more transparent about how rp is going to work because uh, everybody is in the gray area everybody is like all over the place and they think everybody can get champion right now i don't think that's true once again what's going to happen since everybody is going to be hard reset it into copper everybody's going to be grinding so sure i might face some past gold silver uh bronze players but once again those few easy games that i'll play i'll get boosted up into higher ranks quicker and those people will stay down there around their average of where they should be supposed to the game once again when it comes down to rank 2.0 i think ubisoft should have also thought about the solo queue players now i don't think the game should support a solo queue playlist at the moment because we just don't have the player base for it it sucks i would really love to see something like that because it really sucks for the people that solo queue that have to face five stacks that is just not enjoyable and for the average joe that just wants to get on and enjoy some rainbow six siege in a more competitive fun uh utility based nature they they're gonna queue up ranked no matter what i remember back when i was on xbox the best thing I had to do was to go on Xbox LFG and pray to lord I didn't get an egotistical random. So Ubisoft should have definitely implemented some something where solo queue players, if they queue up against a five stack, they should be rewarded with more RP than the enemy team that's five stacked, that have consistent comms. Because we all know that solo queue players, they are really inconsistent in terms of how they communicate, how they use their utility, and how much IQ they really have. Because what happens, and this is why I think rank just doesn't reflect skill at all, is you will see gold players that have better communication the diamond players better positioning than diamond players but they just solo queue so goddamn much and they don't play the game as much as these diamond players that five stack this game rewards five stacking and that makes sense because it is a team-based game but it doesn't reward the support player that drones out that does the heavy lifting that bandit tricks that does everything that every essential team needs which is just the support role sure it's fun to play ash or zofia run around get frags but i per personally as someone who enjoys the utility aspect of the game i love outsmarting the enemy player and i should be rewarded for making smart plays now i understand it is probably too complicated to do something like that but there has to be a solution for players like me and there has to be solutions for solo queue players so on that sense i think Rank 2.0 will be a success, but I feel like there's a lot of gray areas at the moment, so we'll just have to wait and see till next season. Overall, I think next season is going to be very enjoyable in a fresh season. Uh, I've taken two months off playing Siege, literally 50 games per season type vibe. I went from being champ every season to now barely getting to Diamond 3. So I think this next season will definitely 
be an enjoyable season and but it's definitely make or break by the way take a shot every time i t say definitely god damn Anyways, let me know your thoughts and opinions on next season and what we're going to see um, and what you have seen from the TS and the reveal. I'd really like to see some feedback, especially when it comes to reworking the rank 2.0, just a smidge, some things you would want to be added. Cause I know a lot of console players did mention that they did want a solo queue playlist, which I just don't see it happening. Anyways, guys, if you guys enjoyed this video or this discussion, I should say, make sure that you guys like, sub, and comment this season and coming up, I will be uploading a lot more. Um, my Discord get, did get hacked, so if you guys do want to join my new one, link is down in the description to be in the videos next season. I really want to do cross-platform style videos, and it's a lot easier now since we have cross-platform. So, guys, if you enjoyed the video, thank you so much, and have a lovely day.